to Kids Church Online. Today, we are talking about sin. Ah! Sin is all the bad stuff that we do that hurts us and each other. Ah! Yeah, life would be perfect without sin. Sin is like lying, bad attitudes, fighting, disobeying. So today, we are going to be talking about when all that sin began. Grab a chair for our Bible story. Worship, which will be a little bit different today. And of course, some silly stuff. Enjoy. Have you ever tried carrying a mirror up towards the ceiling or the sky before? It's crazy, you feel like you're walking on the ceiling or walking on clouds or something. But a mirror is really used to look at your image so you can see yourself. Mirrors remind me that we were made in God's image. Sometimes though, I have to stop and think about what that means exactly. Do you ever do that? Stop and think about what the Bible is really saying? Let's open our hearts to today's Bible story and think about this together. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and everything in it. From the dirt to the flowers, the trees, the air that we breathe, the planets, the fish, the birds, and even people. And the first people that he made were Adam and Eve. God made Adam and Eve in his own image, fearfully and wonderfully. And he put them in a beautiful garden, the Garden of Eden. And they took care of that garden. And Adam, he named all of the animals. They walked with God in the garden. And everything was wonderful. Okay, this is the kind of thing that I like to stop and think about, don't you? I mean, God made Adam and Eve in his own image. What does that mean exactly? Let's look at that together. God made people in his own image. That means three important things. Number one, he made them with a heart that can show love, be kind, generous, helpful, joyful, friendly, and all sorts of good things. Do you see that in your heart too? Number two, God also wants us to live with him forever and he made us that way. And number three, God also wanted people to make choices and not just be robots. So he gave Adam and Eve a very important choice. They could decide to trust and obey God or choose to do things their own way. Wow, being made in God's image is something pretty special. We can show his heart of love, we can live forever, and we can make good choices. We are certainly fearfully and wonderfully made. And that reminds me of our memory verse. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Psalm 139 verse 14. Oh hey kids, I was just praising God without singing, more so yelling. When I think of praising God, I automatically think of singing. But I know there's lots of different ways to praise God too, like writing out a prayer in a journal, acts of kindness towards others, doing chores with a good attitude. But my favorite way to praise God is with song and singing. Do you ever take a memory verse or a prayer and turn it into a song and kind of sing back to God what you're feeling or thinking or what you read in scripture? Sometimes I do that. In fact, I'm gonna try it with this memory verse. Here we go. Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise, praise, praise you, Lord, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works, your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Why don't you try it with me? I praise, praise, praise you, Lord, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. You've got it. Your works, your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Cheerio. Whoa, that's a pretty fun way to say the memory verse and to praise Jesus. I'll try to think of a couple more and be back later. 
Did you know that our memory verse is actually a prayer? Yes, it's a prayer, it's a memory verse, and it's a worship song. Isn't that an amazing verse? I praise you is just like saying I thank you. Here, we're gonna pray together. You can repeat after me. I thank you and praise you that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, think of a couple things that you love about yourself. Maybe that you're joyful or you're goofy or you're kind, you like to help others. Think of a couple things and say those. Hey, we're gonna continue now. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Now, I'm gonna think of three things that I think that God's words works are wonderful, like his sunshine, the friends that I have, the church that I get to come to. Those are wonderful works. Now, can you think of three things that are wonderful? Do you get some? Awesome, why don't you tell God about them? Amen, oh I love to pray verses from the Bible. Thanks for praying with me. Being made in God's image is something pretty special. We learn that being made in God's image, we can show his heart of love and live forever with him and make good choices. We certainly are fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. Let's get back to our Bible story. So far we've learned that God created all things and that he created people in his own image. They had hearts to love, they could live forever, and they could choose to keep trusting and obeying God. Let's see what happens next. God really wanted Adam and Eve to trust and obey him so that they could live forever with him. He even told them which was the right choice to make. He told them, do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If they do, they would not be able to live with him forever. So they had a choice to make. Would they choose to trust and obey God or would they do things their own way? Do you always choose to trust and obey God or do you do things your own way sometimes? I think we all do things our own way sometimes. Adam and Eve chose their own way, even though they were warned that they could no longer live with God forever. They ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and they felt it. You know what I'm talking about. The yuck! You know that yucky feeling in your heart when you did something wrong. Uh, yeah. They felt it too. And you know what happens when you feel that way. You want to hide it. Oh, We want to hide our sin and pretend like it didn't happen. Like we didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> Maybe you even lie. You know, lie about it and blame someone else. Ugh. That doesn't make us feel any better. And Adam and Eve, they did the same thing. They tried to hide it. They tried to hide it from God. And they tried to blame it on others. That's a yucky feeling. Ah, uh, I don't like that yucky feeling. I know we do things our own way sometimes, but I want to do my best to do things God's way. So I don't want to hide my heart from Him. How about you? I certainly don't want to hide my heart from God. I want to tell Him all my sins no matter what, and I also want to tell Him all my love. And today, my heart is full of praise. In fact, I got another way Sing the memory verse. Check it out. Oh, hey there, country folk. Psalm 139, verse 14. Lord, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I know that full well. I know that full well. Yeehaw! What do you think of that one? Well, we're sure getting to know this memory verse, and I love it. I'm going to try to think of one more way to sing this memory verse, and I'll come back a little later.
Do you like to play hide and go seek? Have you ever hidden so well that it takes a long time to be found? Isn't it just boring and lonely after a while just sitting there waiting? Have you ever tried hide and seek with God? I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, we can hide from God, and you're right. We can't hide from God. Oh, we try sometimes. We try and hide our hearts from Him, especially when we feel bad. And when we're hiding from God, people can't see the wonderful you that God made you to be. Who's that? This doesn't look like anyone I know. And this reminds me of our Bible story with Adam and Eve, where God gave them a heart to love. He gave them the ability to live forever, and He gave them the ability to make good choices. And yet they still made the wrong choice and ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Let's see what happens next in our story. Adam and Eve had chosen to sin by eating of the tree that God had told them not to. God created them in His own image to have hearts of love, to live with Him forever, and to make choices. But all of that was broken now. And they felt yuck. They wanted to hide. Adam blamed Eve. Eve blamed the enemy of lies. <sighs> It was hard to see God's image in them now. And so God told them that they could no longer live in the beautiful Garden of Eden with Him. But He certainly had a plan because He wanted His people back with Him. Yes, God had a plan to wash our hearts clean so that we could make the good choice to trust and obey Him. So if you feel like you've done something wrong, just know that Jesus wants to wash your heart clean so that others can see the wonderful you He made you to be. So let's not hide our hearts from Him. Let's bring our hearts to Him, dirt and all. Jesus wants to wash you clean so that everyone can see the wonderful you that He made you to be. Do you ever hide your heart from God? Like you've done something wrong and then you pretend like it didn't happen? Maybe you disobeyed your parents this week or had a bad attitude. Even I struggle with that sometimes. Maybe you're mean to your sister or you had a fight with your brother. Or maybe you lied to someone. And that's the yuck inside of our hearts. It's all still here, yuck and all, even when nobody else can see it. That's why it's so important to bring our hearts, dirt and all, all to Jesus. And He washes us clean from sin. Then we can see the real and wonderful you that God made. Let's ask Jesus to wash our hearts clean and ask for his forgiveness. What are some things in your heart that you need to have washed clean? We'll put some ideas on the screen for you and then we'll pray. never the fun part, but it's not worth hiding the sin in our hearts because Jesus can make us clean again. Why don't you repeat after me? Dear Jesus, thank you that you love me. I have said some wrong things. I have thought wrong thoughts too. Please forgive me and wash me clean. Help me to be the wonderful me you made me to be. Amen. Oh, isn't it wonderful to have a clean heart? And then when people will see us, they'll see the real wonderful me that isn't filled with all that yuck. Oh, you're thinking on the 
outside if you look like God's image on the inside. Huh? Not inside your mouth, but deep, deep, deep inside your heart. <laughs> God made you with a heart that is loving and kind, all sorts of good things. Okay, wait a minute. Where are you going? Do you want to blow my police helicopter? Yeah. Here we go. It's attached like that. There I go. Bobby, I love you. Hey, what did you do? I want. I want to be in God's image to show kindness. You were showing kindness? Aw, that's awesome, bud. Another way that your insides are in God's image is that He lives forever and you can live forever with Him in heaven if you follow Him. Okay, wait a minute. Because I want to live with him in heaven forever. That is awesome, Moses. I'll tell you one more way that you're made in God's image. And that is that you can make choices. You can make a good choice. Or a bad choice. Hmm. our memory verse. Oh, we love the memory verse. What ways did you think of already? Well, I sang it like this. I praise, praise, praise you, Lord, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works, your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Oh, I like that one. And then I also sang it like this. Lord, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and wonderfully made. Oh wow, that's pretty good. But I want to think of one more way to sing it. Mm. I know, I know. I love it when you sing a rap. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> that's a great idea. I'll try that. Ready? Hey, you ready for another Bible rap? This one, Psalm 139 verse 14 goes like this. We're talking about God's word because I know it don't fade. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. It's the Bible, y'all. We got to show and tell. Hey, you want to try with me? We'll go nice and slow. It goes like this. We're talking about God's word because I know it don't fade. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. It's the Bible, y'all. We got to show and tell. Way to go, kids. That's a wrap. Yeah! That was awesome. I had so much fun worshiping with you guys today through turning our memory verse into song. And you know what? You can do that too. Try it out this week. Take a prayer, take a memory verse, and make it into your own song, and then share it with someone else. Today, we've been talking about not hiding our hearts from God, which is exactly what Adam and Eve did when they tried to do things their own way. They hid their hearts from God so that He couldn't see them. But we know that God always sees us and that He wants us to come to Him so that He can wash our hearts clean. I want to always come back to Jesus. How about you? Thanks for joining us at Kids Church Online. If you want to read today's Bible story about Adam and Eve, check out Genesis 3. Well, that's it for today. I hope you had fun. We'll see you again next week at Kids Church Online.